Next, we're going to talk about choosing, creating, and saving a workspace. The default workspace in the Zener 360 will look something like this. However, the greatest aspect of the Zener 360 is you can customize the layout. You can make it look and feel any way that you'd like it to based on your trading preferences. For example, a day trader is going to want different features within their platform than an option trader, and so on and so forth. You'll notice that there's a small X in the upper right-hand corner of each window. This X represents the ability to close that window. See if I click on it, it will close. Now, if you close a window accidentally and you want it to return, you can do so by finding that particular window within these menus up above. Another thing to keep in mind is if you go to Tools and you choose Locked Layout, you will no longer have those X's. So you can no longer accidentally close out a window. Now, most traders don't prefer to have the chart embedded into the platform, and this is because it takes up a lot of real estate. And to be quite frank, it's not that easy to, to look at, at least most people like to have the ability to expand their chart and take a good look at it. So I'm going to suggest a layout to you that is probably going to work for most traders. Not everybody, but most will find that a different layout is probably going to work better for them. So if you go to File, and then you go to Workspaces, and then you go to Open, you will find that there's actually a handful of platforms to choose from. I recommend that most traders start with the, Z with the OEC Classic, and then they can always customize from there. So let's choose the OEC Classic and then hit Open. This version of a workspace does have a chart, and it does have a dome panel, but they're freely floating. You don't necessarily have, have them embedded in the platform, taking up space. You can get them out of your way by simply clicking on the Minimize button, or you could close them out altogether. And again, if you do close a window out and you decide you want it later on, you simply just go to the menus at the top and locate what you were looking for. In this, in this case, if we wanted a dome panel, we would go back to order tickets and dome, and then open in a new window. In the case of the chart, it's the same situation. You can close it out and get it out of your way and reopen it when you're ready for it, or you could hit minimize. Now, as a pointer, some computers and some platforms, for some odd reason, don't have a minimize and a maximize button by default, and if that happens to you, right-click in the blue area, find independent, and make sure it's checked. If it's unchecked, you'll notice that there's an option to close out, but there is no option to minimize or maximize. So again, right-click and then choose independent, and it'll be there for you. So we're going to minimize this and get it out of our way. And we're also going to unlock this layout so that we can customize it. I recommend that you just simply delete the two boxes at the bottom. They probably aren't worth taking up space on your platform. You're not going to use them enough, and if you do, you can always go back to research and ideas or reports to bring these items up. Keep in mind you can drag any of the windows to resize them. Just put your cursor over the seam. You can also move windows. If you don't like the quote board being in the lower right corner and you prefer it to be somewhere else, you simply click on it, it's a left click, and you start to drag it. And as you're dragging, you'll see crosshairs. The crosshairs will populate, and it'll give, the, give you the option of dropping that window in a particular section. So just choose in the crosshairs which section you'd like to drop that window. Once you get looking and feeling the way that you want it to be, go back to Tools and lock your layout so that you can't accidentally move anything or change anything or close anything out. And from there, you're also going to want to save your workspace. So go to File and then Workspace and Save. And you can save it anything you'd like to, to name it. I'm going to name ours DeCarly. So once it's saved, you will always be able to go back and open that file. You can actually all email it to yourself and put it onto a different computer if you decide to download the Zener 360 on more than one computer. So it is transferable. And if you're curious about some of the other workspaces, you can take a look at those as well. So go to File, Workspaces, Open. And let's, this time let's look at the scalper, which would obviously be for a day trader, somebody that's getting in and out of the markets in a very short time frame. Obviously, their priorities are going to be a little bit different than a position trader. So you'll see in this particular layout, the trader is willing to sacrifice having a build orders and a positions window separately in order to have a bigger chart and a, a large area for their dome panel so they can easily enter orders and see their positions and that sort of thing.